So today I went and saw the invitation and what did I think? Man, you know, August was an improvement over July. Like, I'm going to be honest, July was not a great month for movies. It was actually quite a disappointing month. Um, like, the best movie I saw in July was Storm, Love, and Thunder. And like, it, was only, then it was only like a 7 out of 10, but... Uh, like August had been a massive improvement like him um, like I saw Bullet Train which was great Nope which was great Orphan First Kill which was really good um, and then I went and saw Elvis and it was spectacular but um but but then I saw Beast yesterday which Honestly, it was quite a lackluster movie, and well, now we end the month off with the invitation, and we end the summer holidays off with this one as well. Oh my god, this movie was awful. It was actually awful. Um, like, I'm going to be honest with you, the cinematography wasn't the best. I kind of noticed there were a few scenes in which the camera would kind of get a little bit too shaky for my liking. Um, the pace wasn't great either. This movie is only like, what, it's like an hour and 24 minutes, I think, but, uh, yeah, this movie honestly really drags, and, yeah, um, like, it's, especially in the first half, it's just, it's just such a pain to get through, um, the sounds and music, I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest, um, it was not memorable at all. Like, I can't really remember any, like, scores from this movie. Um, the editing, well, honestly, it, like, it wasn't terrible, I guess, but, it wasn't great either. Um, like I noticed that some of the vampires looked okay. Like they looked kind of somewhat alright-ish I guess. Um, there are some fire effects though around kind of the end of the movie and yeah to be honest they do actually look pretty ugly honestly um as for the characters um the main character Evie I honestly just really do not care for her at all um she's just such a bland kind of generic protagonist and there's just nothing really interesting about her. Um, and then there's like the low, like the her, like all the British families are just like the Lord and um. Yeah, as far as I just I do not care for him at all, whatsoever. Um. Like he, like, he just, he's just kind of her love interest in the movie, and like that's just really about it. He's just very kind of boring, honestly. Um, 
there's like these two other girls who are like at the house and um one of the girls I just really didn't care for uh although the other girl I did kind of like though because um well I mean because there was just this one scene with her um it kind of happens like Going around like kind of near like toward the end ish of the second bit of the uh, action movie, uh, where she's like, finally we 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 can get so we can like, get to the good stuff or something like that. Yeah, that is without a doubt the best line in this entire movie, because that line perfectly illustrates how much I feel about this movie's first half and yeah I just really do not care at all for any of the other characters like the rest of the family and stuff I, I just don't care about any of them whatsoever and um there's like um there's he like there's there's he like this one character who's like at first it seems as if he's going to be like a very important character but for most of the movie, he's just kind of there in the background, and it's like, and um, Evie also has a friend in the movie whose name I can't remember, but um, yeah, she's just very bland, honestly, and not to mention there's this one scene where like as Evie is going off to, to London, uh, she's like. If you see Idris Elba, tell me. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, get it? Because Beast is playing next door, so we have to mention Idris Elba. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it's not funny. Um. The plot of this movie, honestly, just isn't great. Um, like, this movie, um, the plot of this movie just really is, it's just such an unoriginal plot. Like, um, there's this horror movie called Ready or Not. I mean, the thing is, I haven't actually seen this movie, but, um, I know the plot of the, well, I know, like, the main, like, hypnosis of the movie, alright. I know, like, I know, like, kind of what the film's about and stuff, and, um, yeah, this movie is literally just the exact same movie, it's just with, the, it's, just the, it's just the family and the three are vampires. That's really about it, um. Yeah, and, um, this, and, like, it's just, it's just, like, such, um, especially as the plot goes along, it just, it really just starts to get very, very stupid, and, yeah, I, I was literally just starting to roll my eyes as the movie went on. Then there's the narrative structure. Like, I mean, the first half of this movie was extremely boring, and I was just waiting for when, um, for when, like, everything was going to go down, so that then they could start, you know, get interesting, but then... The second half of the movie came around and my god, that is when the movie truly starts to get awful, like, oh my god, I actually could not believe how utterly stupid this movie got once it reached the second half my 
God, the second half of this movie is so damn terrible. Um, and like, um, like there's just the main sub, there's just the main plot thing about like her being in this house and uh, starting to get suspicious or anything. It's like, you just again. This movie suffers from a similar problem to Beast, where it's like, it's just so predictable. You can guess what's gonna happen in so many scenes, and like, and like, not to mention as well, like, um, some of these subplots just really just go nowhere. Like, there's there there seems to be this kind of a love triangle plot in the movie where it's like um Evie falls in love with the Lord and um one of the girls looks like jealous but uh that subplot kinda just goes nowhere and um yeah and it's it's, it's this movie is just such a mess it's it's all over the place with its with its ridiculous plotting. My god, it's just one conjumbles mess. So overall, the invitation is an awful movie. It is so stupid. The first half of this movie is boring and then the second half is just absolutely ridiculous and stupid like don't watch this movie like do not bother seeing this movie because the first half will leave you bored and wanting to leave and then the second half will just will just have you roll in your eyes at how stupid it all is uh, so personally I would not invite a single decent human being to see this utterly ridiculous movie. Um, and so with that, I am going to give The Invitation a 2 out of 10. I'll see you guys next time, and bye.